great. So we're going to paint the Christmas tree today. Okay. And it's not hard. It looks hard. You're like, ah, right. But we're going to attempt 3D painting, right? Which is dark, medium, light all the time, which is, so if you look at our background, it's dark in the corner, a little bit medium, and then light, lightest next to the tree. And then it, the tree itself, I'll bring it closer, has uh, dark areas and lighter areas and dark areas, like 3D, dark, medium, light. And then even with our um, uh, our little ornaments, we if you make, um, I'll bring it real close, you can see that there's just swirly looking ornaments. That's because I didn't mix the paint all the way. I let them be like swirly and it makes swirly pretty um, uh, ornaments on there. That's just fun. And then the glue in the dark paint, this one's easier to see, look like glue dots, right? They look like glue, right? They're clear, but they look like I dropped a piece of glue because it's you're seeing the powder. The gel itself is clear, but the powder is green. And if you want to see if it glows, you can hold it like that and look, and you can see the greenness of it like that. And I was like, oh, it really glows. You're like, hey. And then when we're done, you guys can run into the bathroom and turn off the light and see if you have your lights are glowing. And when the painting is very, very dry, I don't know if it'll be very, very dry at the end. You might have to do it like in an hour after the class, but you can paint with your finger because it will be clean. Um, just put some glow-in-the-dark paint around your tree in the snow with whatever's left. Or you could paint your light switch or your phone case, but I wouldn't recommend it unless you ask your mom. You could go around your um, your your star and stuff. But the star is one of the last things we do, so she's always wet. So you have to wait till she's dry to put anything on her. Oh, because uh, acrylic paint is plastic, right? Acrylic nails are plastic, so plastic. So you can't put the gel of the glow in the dark paint um, and mix it inside of acrylic paint, the plastic would cover up the powder. Does that make sense? Because I tried and you can't. So you have to put it on top, like floating glue on top. So if it's wet, it just mixes and the paint eats up the powder and ugh, it's like you didn't do anything. Okay, so this is what mine looks like. Now it looks like yours, a witch's hat, right? Oh, I want to show you the different kinds of backgrounds. So, depending on how you do yours, uh, we're going to try to always run out of blue paint. What? What'd she say? So, I'm talking and it makes no sense till you do it. But it's mostly white and then I add blue paint and then I make a row of blue and I do not get more blue paint and I try to run out and I run out and I'm running out of blue and there's no more blue left on my paintbrush and then I run out. And then I can't do it twice because I'm rooting for dark, medium, light. Three, right? So people tend to, let me touch it again. Let me touch it again. And then you just get medium blue because you're touching it too much, right? We're going to root for 3D. But look at my side to side scribbles. That's how I did this one. Whatever. Then when I did this one, I was going down, right? But then... Matchy matchy when I do this side, I have to go down, but we can't do them at the same time because acrylic paint evaporates and dries So we it would be it would turn sticky if we did this and this and this and this So we'll do this whole side done then this whole side done like that So whatever texture just make sure you just keep going with it. Some people like going up It's your personal style, right? And we have two paintbrushes Right? Flat one and a round one. The round one does the whole background. <laughs> this little square one actually does the Christmas tree branches. This is the top of the Christmas tree branch. And we just go tap, 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 tap. And you're like, what? You have no idea what I'm talking about right now because you haven't done it yet. Right? But just warning you. Tap, tap. So that's what that's for. And then we have these. But we can mix colors with this one, right? So purple, blue and red makes purple, red and yellow makes orange, right? Green and blue and white makes turquoise. We'll do that. 
and we'll talk about the color wheel. Okay. And then I was at the craft store and I saw these little uh, flat gems. I would be so tempted to glue more things onto my tray, but you can't put the paint on top of our glow in the dark dots, right? Let me just tell you that because then you cover them up. Okay, so let's uh, let's do our background. So we need three versions of a color. So we need white, so I'll open that. And dark blue, she's got 10 squirts in her. She's heavy, right? But then there's a purpley blue, right? And she's only got three squirts. Can you feel the difference? Right, but let me show you. This is the dark blue. Look at the pretty purpley blue on top. It adds a little something, something. That's the purpley blue, right? And let me show you here, right? So I put little clouds of purpley blue because I want 3D. And because I'm gonna put no white in her, she'll be darker, right? So I'm like, oh, purpley blue, purpley blue, they look like little clouds. Oh, but pretty, pretty, right? They look like little clouds and it breaks up the sky so it's not flat and boring. I mean, we could have just stirred them together on a plate if we wanted one color, right? Okay, so we're gonna get our, we're going to go for a fade. You guys know like an ombre, right? Where it goes dark till dark, lighter, 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 lighter. So if I put a whole bunch of white paint next to my tree, and then I put blue right where my thumb is, then I just scribble some of the blue into the white. Then without getting more, I scribble more, less and less and less and less. But I end up with dark, medium, light, lighter, lighter, lightest. Okay, those are just words. You have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I'm about to put white paint on a white canvas in front of a white light. So you're probably not gonna be able to see what I do. But we're gonna stab our white paint like we're mad, and I'll just get closer so you can see. But I stab my white paint like I'm mad and get a lot like that. Do not be delicate. If you put your paint on too thin, it'll evaporate and dry, and we won't be able to do the blendy blendy, right? So I got a lot of white paint. Now, I hope you can see my pencil. I can't see it, so there's the edge. But I smash my paintbrush next to the pencil, and my paintbrush goes whoop. And then I look at one hair that sneaks up to the pencil and then goes wee. And one hair tenses the pencil. So I smash, sneak up, and let one hair touch the pencil. And you are a bulldozer of paint. You don't scribble. That's for crayons, for pens, for pen, for colored pencils. And that, I only got it that, it's only like four inches and I ran out of nice thick paint. So I stab my white paint and get a ton more and smash and get closer and go again. And then it's all thin and dry. I know you can't see. I know, I know. Stab. There. And then I could go. And look how that, oh, I got some on my tree. I'm gonna wipe it with my finger. I just wanna be able to see my edge. Okay, let's see if you can see it, if I can make a good shadow. Because my beauty light is too white. It makes my skin look good, but it's not good for this, right? And there, and there, I just, I just let one hair, when my paintbrush opens, one hair. And I just, you're a bulldozer and you push paint. No scribbles, no scribbles. That's for when you're doing texture. We're just putting the paint on. And I got like four stabs of paint, nice and thick. And what if there's a bunch of lumps? So that means it's nice and thick, okay? And remember, this is play. So you're like, if it doesn't come out good, I just throw it in the trash. Nobody cares, nobody cares, right? It's not gonna hang in a museum, nobody cares. Okay, so you're just like, wee, super fun, don't care. Okay, Rel relax your brain from all the thoughts of failure because nobody cares. But if it comes out good, then you can care and you'd be like bragging. Okay, now I would like it to be like four fingers wide, which is like three stripes of white paint. 
I just get a ton of it and go stripe, stripe. Ew, listen, I can hear that it's dry. You hear that? That scratch means that is not enough paint. Stab my white paint. Schmear, schmear, schmear. And I'm smashing, smashing, no scribbles. We'll do that later when we're adding the interesting texture to the background. And then, oh, look at that lump right there. Do I care? No, it's going to be bright right there. And it's four fingers wide. I think I'm going to go one more stab. A little smidge wider. Put my hand over it. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm going to go a little taller than my tree. My triangle. I'm just going to go a little bit taller. Look how, look how we let it go. Just everybody pause. Look, I let it go a little bit taller than my tree so that it looks like my star is glowing too. I don't want to stop right at the top. I go past it a little bit. Who can, did you know your paintbrush is like a sponge too? If you keep going like this and touching it too much, what's your paintbrush actually doing? Picking it back up. You're soaking up your paint. Touch it as little as humanly possible. As soon as you like it, stop touching it. I'm telling you, the more you touch it, the sadder you'll be. Just touch, 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 and then done. Because the texture is more interesting. You guys ready to make the blue? Well, it's going to turn baby blue, right? So I need the dark blue, right? This is navy blue. It's called pithampho blue, but it's deep, deep blue. And it's he the heavy blue because it's got 10 squirts in it. Very heavy compared to the purpley blue who we use later. So, and I don't need a, I'm not gonna go, huh, like I'm mad this time. I just need some. It's the heavy one, the heavy one, cause she's got 10 squirts and the other one only has three. So she's light as a feather. Okay, just for decoration. So I'm gonna poke it, um, just like a poke, just halfway, whoop. There, I just got some and that's all. That's all I need, some. I did not stab it whole like I was doing the white spaz. I just get, I just get some, right? And then where am I gonna put this? I'm gonna put it on the white, but the farthest away from the tree white, right along the edge, and just do one stripe. Do not decorate, do not scribble. I'm just gonna get it off my paintbrush. Oh, there's some on the other side, right? Let me wipe that off. Ooh, okay, Ooh, there. Done. Just drop it off. Don't decorate. We'll get to that. Ew, it's too. Look at where I landed. And there's a giant blob. Let's just smooth that down a little bit. Okay, calm down. Okay. I don't. These are. And besides, these are up and down stripes. That doesn't look at all interesting like this, right? So now we're gonna change her texture, which means you don't push hard. Not, <laughs> you just go fluff, 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 soft, 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 soft. And, and this is gonna be our darkest row. So without making it any bigger, just change her texture to side to side, or you're gonna be up and down at an angle, whatever style you want to have and watch I'll bring it closer and I'm just going to change her texture and I don't go fast those are a bunch of z's that's terrible so I just go wiggly 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 change her texture change her texture she's not getting bigger I'm just changing her texture texture and I'm going slow so that they all overlap and it's a nice dark baby blue and done I just changed her texture and there's dark parts and light parts, but that's interesting. I don't need to go back and fix that. I just want her texture. So whatever texture you choose, you're going to keep. And be like, well, that's my personal style. So if you don't like it, don't look at my painting. That's how I do it. Look at America's getting all organized. She's changing it up so she can see good. Nice. Okay, now I am not getting any more paint. Look what color is in my paintbrush. Isn't that the perfect baby blue? I'm going to try to run out of baby blue. It's going to change colors, but I'm going to cut this tower in half 
and only push it like one finger bit more into the white, white's gonna eat up my blue. And it should be a lighter color. So I push the blue into the white and the white into the blue and the blue into the white and the, like I'm sewing them the two worlds together. Same texture, back and forth, back and forth, but I just go push and pull and push and pull. Oh, oh, look, at, I push the white and the blue and the blue and the white and the white and the white. It's lighter, it's lighter. Nice. And I just, the only blue was what was in my paintbrush and at the edge of that dark blue. And I give it permission to run out of blue on purpose, right? Like, oh, I should add more. So it's, no, we are trying to run out to do it ombre. It's lighter every time we do it. Just what's in my paintbrush and the white I already put on there. And it's your personal style. If you're a ziggity zaggity or if you're at an angle, just matchy match yourself. Okay, should we do it and don't do it more than once? Do you know what would happen if I, if I would just end up with medium blue if I keep touching it, right? Medium. So now I'm going to go even closer. I am almost, I need to go small because I am almost touching my, um, my tree. But I, now I'm going to get the very, 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 just what's left in my paintbrush and the very, very edge of that one and just go, oh, it's even lighter. It's even, oh, oh, it's, it's so soft, like a baby, 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 just born blue. And all I did was yank on the edge of the blue and told her to be lighter. And just what was in my paintbrush, it got lighter. Now you do it. See if it's true. Look at that piece of white right there. Remember I said, oh, there's a glob right there. What if I grab it? It'll be brighter. That's what happened. I don't care. It's a, it's a, it's a little shine. And then who's already touching your tree? You beat me. Cause now I'm going to do it one more time. Look how light. That is a light blue. And I'm going to do it one more time. Cause I'm, I'm just barely not touching. What if I get some of this on my tree? Do I care? No, I paint the tree on top of the sky. So now I'm just going to go even smaller. Oh, oh, look at Oh, that is so, oh, very, very bright, babyish, babyish blue. And I definitely went over the pencil a little bit. But I know how to draw a triangle. So it's not like I can ruin it, right? It's just a triangle. Now let me check. Dark, medium, light. Do I have three versions of the color? Did I give it permission to run out? Did I do a highlight to my color? Because I it was wet and then the color just snuck in like this. This is why it's so hard to paint people because the little shadow under my eye better start and stop in the exact spot on wet paint or it looks like I have a giant hole in my face. Painting skin is the last thing you learn how to do because it is so hard. Okay, now, ooh, there's still white on my paint, and I don't even care, because we're going to do, get blue and go just up, you know the word parallel, right? It's next to, but not touching, really close. I'm going to get dark blue again. I'm just going to stab it. Boop, I got some. Ooh, but there's still white in my paintbrush, because it's going to be lighter than dark blue by herself and i'm just gonna it looks like a candy cane because i want to go over my tree a little bit so i go and i'm parallel not touching oh there's like i ran out on the back but there's some on the front so i flip my paintbrush over okay there and i can go back and i just want to mush it in a little bit move and remember these are up and down stripes so they don't match so i'm gonna go back and sexy sexy and now as I smash it in, I have the perfect color in my paintbrush on purpose. So this rubbing it in is actually creating a new color in my paintbrush. Some people do this on a plate, very time consuming and you'll never get the same color to match twice. It's very annoying. Well, that is not, um, that's not matching texture. Can we change this into matching texture? And then we'll sneak it up and attach it, sew it to that other piece. But I just need to change her texture side to side or up and down, depending on how you did it. But I just go, same size. I just change her texture. 
because the scratch actually is the texture, the little scratchy, scratchy texture. Side to side, change your texture. Oh, I did it too fast. I was making Z's. They overlap, right? Slower and smaller. Okay, better. Okay. There's a hole, right? How about if we attach this blue with this blue and use our wet blue and go and grab the dark blue side, push and pull and push and sew those together so there's no more white. Scribbly those two like this, like we're sewing. Just what's in my paintbrush, because I just made that color. What? Did it. Dark, medium, light, light, lighter. And you see this part right here that's getting darker? Because she's drying, all paint color darkens as she dries. So don't judge it. Okay, that's what, because white paint is half white gel that turns clear like Elmer's glue. So never judge a color with white in it. You know when you go to Home Depot and open the can and it's white and then you add the color? You're like, <sighs> and you're like, I'm, I want brown, not white. And they're like, I know, I'm putting the brown in it. And this is the gel that's gonna spread it evenly on your wall and then turn clear when it dries. And you're like, oh, that's why all paint darkens as it dries, right? So this is looking like it's getting darker closer to the tree. It's just cause the white is drying and turning clear. Okay, let's do it again. But let's, the, and, and how much white is left in my paintbrush? Oh, not very much. So I stab my blue again, stab. Oh, and I just, hey, we already did one successful. Should we do it again? Whee! Oh, and look at how much darker she is. What? Smooth. I'm giving it permission to run out of white. I haven't got more white yet. Because I want, and there's a little bit of my paintbrush. It's like a polluted paintbrush is helping me. And then, that is an up and down texture, no matchy matchy. Can I just change her into side to side? There. Hmm. Oh, look at this. My paint ha paintbrush has white in it. It's oh, I'm getting some texture. Mm-hmm. More interesting to look at. Okay. And how much you want to guess? Because we already did it once. What happens next? Durr, right? Now I go, oh, should I get more blue paint? No. Now I'm going to push this blue, dark blue, into the light blue and sew them together. Put, grab the light blue and pull it into my dark blue and sew it together. Oh, look at that. That's a giant blue. I didn't want that. I'm going to smooth that with my finger. Calm down. My finger had no paint in it. That must have been a blob. Okay, try again. Okay. I don't like it. Look at it. It's a perfectly straight line. It must have been too much blue in it. Oh, I hate mine. I'm just going to give up right now and go home. I hate it. It's too dark. Mm. Who has that? I don't like it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a paper towel. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to squeeze this paint out. I'm going to put the paintbrush inside a paper towel and squeeze the extra blue out. Ooh, I got it on the handle. Okay. Squeeze! Now it's a no paint bank brush. No paint. So I'm just going to change her. Ooh, I just put blue on my lip. Okay, now I'm going to do just with no paint on my paintbrush. So I'm not going to be adding anything. Oh, just like that ugly edge. That's like a flag. That is not gently fading, right? Let me just push some blue in my light blue. Push and pull and push and pull. Look at, oh, I'm using the side of my paintbrush, not the tip. And at, oh, oh, it's disappearing. The edge is not so harsh. No paint on my paintbrush. I'm asking them to scribble and it's blurrier and I can't see the edge anymore. It's not a harsh line because my no paint paintbrush helped me blurry, blurry, blurry. Because there was way too much paint on my paintbrush. So how do you know how much paint to get? You don't. Sometimes you're just adjusting, adjusting, adjusting based on what your paint's doing.
So if we just squeezed out all of our white paint, how much you want to bet when we fill in this corner, it's very, very, very dark blue. No white in it, right? So I just stab my dark blue and fill it all in, lolly la. Don't care, don't care, because that is not the right texture, ups and downsy. So I just fill it in, la, 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 la. But then I'll go back and change her matching texture. And it's a texture thing. Are you an ups and downsy person? Are you a diagonal person? Are you a side to side person? I've been doing side to side lately, but I used to always do it at an angle. I don't know. I don't know. I do. Well, that's terrible looking. Look, they don't match. It's supposed to be the same sky. So how if I just go and change its texture side to side so it all matches matches? Fixy fixy, change it. So they're, none of them are side to side. They're all with the texture that I decided on. Your personal style. There. So let's check for 3D. Dark, medium, middle, lightest by the tree. Mm -hmm. Did it? That's right. But you know what? Above my tree doesn't have nothing. But right now, the teeny tiny bit of blue that's left in my paintbrush is probably just right to go above my tree right here. There. There. Half. Right. Sky. There. I don't need a glob. I just need whatever's left in my paintbrush is just about. <gasps> oh, look what I did. I put dark in my light. Okay, my finger is like a no paint paintbrush. Let's see if I could tell her to comp. Because my finger is like a sponge. See if I can tell her to calm down. Oh, oh, look what I did. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I took it off. Right? But my, my paint was still wet. So I told that it must have been the bottom of my paintbrush touched it. Because there's lots of blue right there. Phew! Right? Well, is that as interesting as this one? Um, no. Look at this one has those purpley blue cloud things, but I did not put any purple clouds in my baby blue or my whitish part. No, it's for the darkish part. So it looks more nighttime. It's more interesting. Okay. So let me find purpley blue. Look at how, what color, and what she, she dries a deep color. Because what's she floating in? A white gel that turns clear like Elmer's glue and gets darker. So, uh, is everybody ready? I'm not going too fast. Okay, so I'm going to get a poke of this purpley blue. Not a, I'm not going to stab it like a spaz. I just go poke, and I get like a boogie on the end. Poke, hole, Bleep. And then I'm going to drop it off like little buttons, little, little buttons. But no, this is, it's too dark to go right here, right? But all this dark part, it could totally go right here. All right. All right. Watch how pretty it looks on the blue. Hello. What? This purpley blue. What? Ooh, across the top and down the side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But not in the baby blue because that had white in it. Oh, look at it. And I just keep doing it until no more comes off, right? Because it's like, oh, there. Now it's back to blue. Doesn't it look pretty? It, can I can I do it so you can see it better? Because my my um, beauty light is a real reflector. Look how dark they look compared to my. Oh, it looks so good. I'm making a shadow with the phone. Neat. Okay. Well, why do you have polka dots in your sky? Should I leave them like that? No. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna visit them for one second, just blah, blah, and change their texture. Right? So, so I go, oh, there's one. So I just go, la, 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 there. I changed her texture side to side to side. Ooh, what happens if I do it too much? She'll just disappear. She's floating on top of the blue. So I just go, la, 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 side to side, side to side, side, side to side, 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 and then side to side, and side to side, change her texture, and then I'm done. I don't want to crush her into the blue. 
because I like how I, I, she's floating on top of the dark blue. And then I just go back and change her texture side to side so it has a matching texture. And then it's more interesting to look at. Ooh, it got really dark right there. I'm going to use my no finger paintbrush and just tell it to come. That's a little, whoa, I must have used a lot. I don't care. It's a shadow. Okay. Sorry. So let's check for 3D. Is it darkest in the corner? Then medium? Then light? And light is lightest by the tree, so the tree's going to look like she's glowing. Right? And now we have to clean our paintbrush, so we have to lick it off. No, you're crows. I bet you even tried crows. No, I just want to squeeze. There's two. I want to go back and use white, you know, when I put over here. There is too much blue, so I'm just going to squeeze all the blue. No, that's, I know there's more in there. Let me just keep doing it there. Oh, now none's coming out. Okay. It's obviously still going to be blue, but it's not going to have the giant booger of blue hiding inside the bristle that you, oh, there. Okay. Now, I don't, I'm just going to put this one away because it's filthy. Disgusting. Okay, so that was your that was your nervous, excited mind, right? So were you confused and frustrated at any time? That means you were doing it right. Because the human brain must feel confused and frustrated before understanding, right? So you're like, I don't get it. What is happening? What? I don't, she, well, she's going to the, ah. and then after you're like, oh, I get it. Because confusion and frustration happens just before. And you know what people do? They get confused and frustrated and then they give up. Um, you're missing the whole point. You're just about to figure it out and you gave up. Right? And you watch people do that and you're like, no! You don't understand your brain emotions. Oh. Supposed to feel like that. Okay, now clean-ish sort of but you know what there's blue in my paintbrush so how much you want to bet you'll be able to see me do this side way easier because it'll be a little bit baby blue so it won't be invisible doing it by faith <laughs> right so i'm gonna get my white paint remember it was like four strokes of white but now you get to watch me outline it because i'm getting white but on a dirty paintbrush so you'll be able to see this so i smash my paintbrush next to the line smash Right? Now I'm going to sneak up and go, touching the pit. Oh, I did not get enough. It is dry already. That got like five inches and uh, more white. It should be slippery white, not dry white. I'm a bulldozer. I push paint. There, push paint. Push the paint. Put it on nice and thick. There. Ooh, I got a little bit on my tree. Is that bad? No, as long as it's a triangle. I got an artificial tree this year. Oh, question? Ask me again. Marcus, did you have a question? No, you're just messing with me. I got an artificial tree and and when I put it up, it was so perfect triangle. I was like, it looks like an artificial tree. So I tried really hard to twist the ends to make little stick outs, you know, so it's a little bit rougher on the edges. So it looks more like a natural tree. Okay, now can we keep going? You guys already know what to do. So there's one. Boring. How many do I do? Four fingers worth. How many do I do over here? Four fingers worth. Matchy, matchy. Four stripe. All right. So I get more white. Whoop. I just get more. Am I scared of my paint anymore? No. We know we just decorate it and change its texture and everything anyway. Just get more paint. We already know. Oh, and let them touch at the top, right? Right here above the tree. We'll, we'll decorate that, but they touchy, touchy. Let me check for four fingers. Let me check. Yeah. But look at where I land. Giant glob. 
Let me push that down a little bit. Because your paintbrush is like a sponge, so it will pick up paint and drop it off somewhere else. There. Okay. There. And then how much white is in my paintbrush? A lot. On purpose, because I'm going to run out of blue, right? I get blue, then run out, and run out more, and run out more, and run out more. So I don't, once I get that first stripe of blue, it's all you get. No more for you. Okay? So I'm going to get the, how much blue was it? Was it a hard stab or just a poke? Just a poke, right? Like halfway in, poke. It's just a poke. I think that was right, right? Poke. And then... I put it on the outside of, on the white, but on the very farthest, farthest away from the tree. And it's going to, oh, and now there's none on that side. Oh, but there's still some on the other side. Let's wipe that off. And then smoosh it in and make a new color. Smoosh, smoosh, all the way down to the snow line. Okay, I'm going to do it again. Because there's this stripe of dark blue right there. Look, I keep trying to get it off. Okay, there, I did it. Okay, this should go faster. How come? Because are we on the learning curve anymore? No, we've done it. This is Earth. Once you do something, you understand it, and your brain's very calm, and you go, yeah, lady, I already know what to do. So now we just go, oh, question. I didn't hear it, Marcus. You're laughing again because you're messing with me. Okay. So now I'm going to go scribble, scribble, and just change the texture right here. I just go side to side. I like how big she is and everything. She's the right size, but her texture is all wrong. And I'm going slow just because faster is better. It will match over here, right? So matchy, matchy texture. Whatever you did last time, you do this time. I could go all the way up. Oh, I touched. Ooh, that's not the right color. Look at, ooh, we're going to have to fix that. That baby blue touched my dark blue. What? And then, what color is on my paintbrush? Baby blue, and I'm going to try to run out. And how big of a scribble? Really big, so this is over fast. No, nice and little. Scribble, scribble, side to side, and try to do a medium blue. So I cut off half of that blue column and try to make a medium row. Small. This is going to be my, oh, look at it mixed with the white. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm making Z's too much. Look at that. I wish I was doing it smaller. That's, I'm going to go back. I'm going too fast. Okay, there. Smaller was better. I was going too fast and making Z's. Okay, there. Because I, because I'm confident, so I'm going super fast. Okay. And what color is in my paintbrush now? Baby, baby blue. So I cut that one in half and try to get even closer to my tree without touching. Okay. And I'm going to pull one more little scribbly row. I'm pulling. I'm so, oh, look at how soft and baby blue. Oh, see the Z's? I went too fast. Calm down. Okay, there. And then I could do, oh, what happens next? One more row, touching the tree, and it's going to be my lightest, lightest, babiest, babiest. Look at, I have a stripe. I have one of those stripes again. I don't like it. You know which doesn't have, remember when we used a no paint paintbrush to fixie something? Look at me, everybody pause. Look at, it looks like a flag. It's like a perfect stripe. My finger has no paint on it. What if I just gently go over and tell this little edge, scribbly, scribbly, it's just too perfect, and try to make a softer edge there. Oh, it was better. It was a little bit better because my paint finger has no paint. Ah, oh, because they're the wrong texture. It doesn't match the texture of my paintbrush. Hmm. Well, that was an F. Let me clean my paintbrush. Try again. Ah. Oh. And there's a white on my paintbrush. Just want to change it there. I don't like it. I want it to fade gently and not to have like 
stripes like a flag. So I went and cleaned my paintbrush a little, remember that trick? And then just went, there. No paint, paintbrush, fixy, fixy. There. Oh, now I have, what color do I have in my paintbrush now? How about if we go over the top, look at the ridiculous whatever this is, over the top of the triangle. In my paintbrush is baby blue. Glowy, glowy, I can make a little glowy circle. That's where the star is gonna go. Gentle, gentle though, because there's baby blue in your paint. It's circle-ish, right? Same side to side texture, but you know, the circle, the star is gonna go right there above the tree. So it's just a schmear, a schmear. Now that we've done it, who feels confident doing the rest of it? I don't know. Now I just stab my dark blue. Stab. I don't even care. And I'm going to go next to this guy, but not touching, parallel. And wipe it off. Like, get off my paintbrush, blue. God. And just kind of mush it in a little bit. Mush, mush. Get off my paintbrush. There. And your brain's like, oh, it totally makes sense now. Well, because you've done it. On Earth, we learn by doing. When the teacher shows you math, do you actually learn math? No. When do you learn the math? When you do it. So learning only happens by doing. So you're like, I don't want to do it. That means you're refusing to learn it. And that's on you. Okay, that's up and down. That's not the right texture. <laughs> So I'm gonna use my paintbrush and just go side to side, side to side, change her texture. Nice and slow so they're not scribbly Z's. I was getting hyper and going too fast. That's what I was getting before. Talk. <coughs> and then I bet you can guess what happens. Just what's left on my paintbrush, I'm going to sew this little baby blue edge with that dark blue edge. I put the baby blue in the dark blue, put the baby blue in the dark blue in the dark blue in the baby blue in the baby blue in the dark blue in the dark blue. And then I can do the no paint paintbrush if I get a perfect edge, like a flag stripe. <gasps> Ooh, I sewed it to the top. That looks good. Oh, look at those Z's. Oh, oh. It's not the, I have to go back and texturize it. It was too fast. There. Oh, it happened to me again. Look at my painting. That is too dark right there. It looks like a, like a stripe. What am I going to have to do? Clean my paintbrush. Squeeze out. Clean paintbrush. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Again. Squeeze! And then, what can I do? No paint on my paintbrush. I don't like it. Look, it's like a hard line. That's not nice and faded ombre. That's terrible. You would fire that hairdresser. So, I'm just going to scribble over the top and just with no paint and tell her to calm to a soft and as delicate and feather-like and tell her to calm down. Ooh, all I did was, I was, I was basically soaking up some of that blue paint and telling her to calm down. And now it's still dark, but the edge of it isn't so, per oh, I just touched it with my finger. Made a schmear, there. Does it work? You want to do it again? Super easy. Stab my blue. Boop. Put it next to it. Woo! Oh my gosh. We've done this before. If you don't need me anymore, don't wait. You just go. You know what to do. And then I go scribbly, 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 side to side. And then should I leave that stripe just sitting there by herself? No. So then I sew her together. So how come your brain is so confident right now? How come your brain is so relaxed? because you've done it and you have proof to yourself that you can do this so your brain relaxes 
calms down and you're like, oh yeah, I can do this. Huh. But when you're unsure, your thoughts are very mean and then the emotions come. I did that. Did I beat you? Who did I beat? Who's jealous of me? Mm, you're jealous. Okay, now all I have left is that corner. So easy. So I just get dark blue. Boop. La, 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 la. It's going to be really, really dark, and I don't care because I get to decorate with purpley blue. And up and down is incorrect texture. So then I change your texture. Mm -hmm. Oh, corner. Ooh, how about if I go across the top? Everybody look. I can sew these two worlds together above the tree because I have just dark blue on my, on my paintbrush and make like a frame. So the tip top is there. Sew those two worlds together across the top. So it's just a little bit in my paintbrush. It's time for water. So look at your other side. She's drying. What do her colors look like different? Look at the purple. She looks different. She looks good, right? The drying side is, oh, and then look at this side going, what? Look at the colors change as they dry. It's so interesting. Well, are we done with that side? No. What does this side have, right? Ooh, look at nice, pretty purpley pieces. I don't have it. Oh, purpley, purple, purpley. Pe oh, wait, there were, there, oh, there's the reflection. Okay, there. That's pretty and that's pretty. So where's purpley blue? And I just need a poke. Not in the baby blue area. No. No. I put it in the dark area. So I just go poke. And they're like, I got a glob, kind of a glob, because I'm going to drop them off like little uh, buttons. So the corner, absolutely. Can you guys see how purpley that is? I'll tell you. See if I can get her. Oh, look at how dark she is compared. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the way down. Where? Oh, maybe across the top too. I'm jealous. I want another poke. I didn't get any across the top. Okay. Oops, that was kind of a lot right there. They're buttons. Should I leave it like that with polka dots in my sky? No. So can we just visit them for one second? Just, you know, change their texture so they're not little circles. We change them into little scribblies, right? Match the texture. Don't rub it in. Just la 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 la. So I'm just gonna go visit them. And let's see if I can get a good light angle. Cause my beauty light is way too bright. For this blue, oh, it's too shiny. Oh, there. And I just go, la la la, visit. La la la. Oh, side to side, side to side, side to side, side to side, done. Side to side, side to side, 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 side to side. I'm not trying to make rectangles out of them. I just want them to have, and I jump around a little bit and change their texture. <laughs> Interesting. And they're gonna dry darker. So how many color values do I have for 3D? Dark, medium, light. And we still have a triangle, right? The tree goes on top of the triangle, right? The tree branches hang out over the top. So the white looks like it's right. So you're like, oh no, I got the tree. You just make a triangle and let things stick over, right? Easy. Well, now I have to do snow, 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 snow. Okay, so I have a dirty paintbrush right now, but it's nighttime, which is why the lights glow. So the dirty little paintbrush makes these stripes. Okay, can you see the difference? How many versions of white do I have? Dark areas, medium areas, and white areas. And I give it permission. Should I keep scrubbing until they all become one color? No, I give them permission to be cool and stripedy like that. Because it looks good. Which means I have to stop touching it so much. Right? Once it looks cool, done. So I stab my white with all that blue on it. And I'm just, 
Oh, look at the edge of your, this is ugly. It's like all ratty, right? What if I get a nice blob of white paint and I put the snow on top of the sky and smooth it out? Oh, that, was, that wasn't enough white. One more time. Smooth, I had to do it more gentle because there's blue in my paintbrush. Now, you can't see the ratty part of the sky. It's all smooth. Do you see how I had to do it twice because there's so much blue in my paintbrush? Fine. Now what about the other side? Ugly. So I get white. And by ugly, ratty sky, erased. Put my snow on top of the sky. Nice. Cut it up now. It's smooth snow on top of my sky. It's a pile of snow. Hey, let's connect those two snow pieces under our our um, under our tree. We could push hard. Ooh, it's so dark, and I don't even care because it's a shadow. It's a shadow. What? I don't even care that it's dark underneath my tree. No, I just put shadow. Can I push hard? And all that paint is in my blue. My blue is in my paintbrush. What? I made dark blue. Now we're gonna make smooth, smooth paint so we don't scribble like this anymore. We're gonna try to make it smooth. So we actually go like this, everybody pause. I know you're busy, watch me. I'm gonna go off the page, off the page. But there's not enough paint to do that. Supposedly so we're getting it wet and then going back and smoothing, smoothing. Okay, so I stab my white, how come I get so much? So I'm gonna get the whole thing wet with, and I push my paint, push it like a bulldozer. And the longer and smoother my stripe. Ooh, wait, look. I already have dark. Should I touch it more? I'm gonna try not to because that looks wicked good. I like that. I like it. Uh oh, I'm gonna go over my dark blue. Is that bad? Nah, it's fine. What? Why? Because that dark blue will actually stay there and hide underneath the white. Because what is white really? White gel. It turns clear like Elmer's glue. Oh, I'm getting cool stripes. Should I keep touching it? Because I really like that. I'm going to stop touching it. As soon as I get it like wet and I'm smoothing it, I like the stripes. Oh, I got a white piece. I got a dark piece. I got a medium piece. Nice. I'm getting it soaking wet with white, but I like the smooth off the page to off the page texture. Not too many touches. Look at mine's already turning medium. I have to stop touching. I don't want it just medium. Medium's boring. How many color values for 3D? Three, even with white. So bright areas that are really bright with white and then dark areas with a dirty, dirty paintbrush. Look at the different versions I got. <gasps> what? And I painted right over that dark blue area. But look at it, it totally shows through. Because remember, white is a see-through color. So I can just paint over it and it's still there. Should we scribble real hard? No. Smooth. Off the page to off the page. Smoothie, smoothie. Good job. Who feels like they're touching there so much? All they got was medium. And you're very annoyed right now. Right? Medium. What? So we can go like this and get white paint. Watch me. And I got a glob of white paint. Everybody pause and look up. And I'm just, remember when we put those little uh, blobs in our, to make it slightly darker? What if I put blobs of white, little dashes, dash, 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 
and, and I want them to be slightly brighter on purpose, but I just go as soft as humanly possible because white has to live. I don't want to crush it in and just go off the page, super soft, off the page, off the page. Ooh, I got some pure white parts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How many versions of white? Now I have pure white stripes and some darker ones and some medium ones. Just in case you kept touching it, it just helps you have some bright parts. 3D. Is it, is it smooth off the page to off the page? Because we want smooth snow. It just snowed. Pretty, pretty. And then, can you put your paintbrush all the way to the bottom, bottom? This often gets missed. This part, I pick up my painting a little because the easel is totally in your way. So I can, okay, yeah. And there should be baby bluish white in your paintbrush. There. Okay. Sometimes it gets missed. And it looks white, so it's a trick. And when it dries, you realize it's just unpainted canvas and you're like, ooh. And then when we're done, thank you paintbrush, you're all done, get out of here, goodbye. So we put this one in our cup, not because we're rinsing her out or anything, we'll do that when we're done. But remember this is acrylic, which means plastic. So if we just set it on the table and let it dry, it would become hard acrylic, hard plastic, and you can't get it out. Right? So if we keep it wet, then we can rinse it out later. Don't let it dry out. So we just put it in a put in the coffee cup and say, thank you for your service. Get out of here. And now we need a little square. Oh, and we could put the lid on the white and the lid on the blue. You guys can paint some rocks or do some creativity with these. They're not dried out yet, right? And then Look for our dark green and our light green. And I just go ahead and open them and check and get them close to me and those other ones move because I'm gonna use these now. getting organized okay so the trick with this is it's a I do not hold it like a pencil ever again you guys are gonna forget and hold it like a pencil but if I hold it like a pencil she actually only makes a smashy circle right no I actually want to hold it like a magic wand and I kind of put my finger on it to help me remember not to switch but you'll forget You've been doing the alphabet a long time. But I just go tap, tap. So the top of it, oh, I can't put it there. The top of it is the top of the branch and the bristles will make the needles, but only as it runs out of paint. Remember how interesting it is when the paint starts to run out, it changes texture and color, right? So we're gonna do the same thing. So let me show you on a paper plate. This is very, very boring because this is all talking, but I'm gonna show you with my dark green. Okay, so I got paint, but I only put it flat. I don't need it on this side. No, I'm not using the other side. I'm gonna go like this. And then they all overlap like this. Tappy, 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 tap, 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 tap. Watch, those are just words. So I just go tap. Okay, very boring. Tap, 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 right? And then at the very end, I do it very, very gently. Deep, deep. And these are the pieces that stick out. There's those needles. The needles appear when it starts, not here, where I first landed. That's a glob, right? But if I pick her up and like walk with her this way, there comes the needles because she's running out of paint. Oh, oh, and I do it super soft at the end. Tree branch. Okay, that's boring. Let me show you on this. Okay, so I go, all right, I'll just do it really fast. And tappy, 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 tappy. Then it's a triangle, right? So the next one has to be smaller. 
and then smaller, and then smaller, and then smaller. Well, those are, yeah, let me put some in the middle here. What are these dark ones going to be? Remember when I put my dark shadow under the tree and painted over it with white? Those are just my pieces of shadow I put. Now I get my green, the bait, the softer green. Watch it. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it makes the best color. I make, oh, oh, I let them mix. But now I'm going to know stoppies and I might go over a dark piece. I might not. Oh, now I hit a really dark piece. That's going to be shadowy. Wait, more green. I could tell it's turning all dark. So let me do it again. Okay. And then tap, 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 tap. And then I get to the end. It's too big. So I turn it skinny ways. Now she can make the tippy, tippy, skinny, 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 skinny. Okay. And that's just a triangle. And we're all going to be successful at that. So boring. Now watch this. And I, how many color values do I have? Do you see any dark parts? Shadow. And they're like, look at there's a hole. Let me get it. Hole in my tree. I hate that when you buy a tree and you get it home and you turn it and there's a big hole in it. Okay, now everybody pause and look up. Tannin, I'm not getting more paint. The paint on this tree is all I need. Cause I'm, this is smooth. Remember I was telling you about my artificial tree that was perfectly smooth? No. So I touch this and I let little tiny, little tiny branches stick out. And I, if I need paint, I touch the paint tree. And it's the little stick outs that make sense. Want to see something ugly though? Those are evenly spaced apart in the same length. Do trees do that? No. So I get, I put little baby ones in between them and little tiny poke, 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 trying to break up my perfect pattern. You know why? Because we spaced our letters and numbers perfectly spaced apart. So we're just trying to ruin that perfect human pattern. You know why you do it? Because you're human and your parents were human. So it's their fault. You evenly space stuff apart. And then, does that make sense? That is totally doable. So did we paint a tree? No, we painted the color, shape, and texture of a tree. And your brain said it was a tree. That's all we gotta do. You guys ready? Okay, so flat paintbrush, magic wand, dark green paint, tap, bleh. And are we covering this up? Yeah, so just practice with it. We're putting the other green on top, so whatever. So I just go, okay, let me see if I can do it. Okay, that's a lot of paint. Now watch me run out. Oh, here comes the needles as I run out of paint. Pretty, 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 pretty. Oh, okay, now you do it. Because where it was thick, no needles. Because I landed there all globby. And then I could go, oh, pick it up. And then, oh, I went to the edge. Ooh, I left the triangle, F. No, I'm just kidding. Is that the only one I should do? How many dark shadowy branches should I put all over? Just practice. And then this is the top of your, your, this is the top of your branch, right? So they all line up and overlap. And they all touch like when you're vacuuming or sewing or mowing the lawn, there's no spaces between them. They touch the same branch. Well, can I put a whole bunch more in there and just practice? Oh. And because you're human, you're going to put them evenly spaced apart and right, you human. So try to do them different spaces apart, right? So I just, I'm going to hold my green so I don't have to reach to the table behind me. And I just go tap it, tap it, tap it, tap it there. Put some there. Sometimes they're globs and sometimes I have needles. Both are nice. I like see practicing both. Oh, look, exactly one finger apart. <laughs> and I know better. <sighs> what? Human brain. So let me put some baby ones in there. Maybe there and there. These are little pieces of shadow. We're going to paint. Oh, 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 I know. The very bottom, bottom of my painting should be a shadow touching the snow. You guys seen these kinds of trees that touch the snow? I think they're Nobifers. 
touch it. They lay down their branches on the snow. Okay, when I put it on that dry, that's obviously not going to show. Let me put it a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. I'm watching you guys paint. Look it. And our, our, uh, this triangle big, right? And whoa, it got close to the edge. So there could be shadows close to the edge. Shadows. Are they going to live? No, they're going to peek out just like this shadow underneath our tree when we did the blue shadow. It's going to show through. So now I can get this medium green. She's literally the color of a Christmas tree. And I just go, all right then. But these all touch each other, right? No, So we don't want any more white canvas showing, right? And I'm painting from the side, so mine turns out to be weird perspective i tend to have this shape of a tree so eventually i'm gonna have to stand in front of it so i can make it straight okay but i just get the green and i go oh it's making a new color oh wicked me oh more green i don't want it to be dark green anymore i want it to be both cool i don't know if you can see it but it made two stripey colors and I should, should, what if I touch it again? It'll just be a one version of green. I like more than one version of green. Okay, then the next row is overlapping that row, right? They touch. Buy white. I don't want to look at you anymore, white. I'm bullying the white. Got here. And I put another row. Ooh, I landed on some dark green. Is that bad? No. I just pick her up and start carrying her along. Wow. Pokety, 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 smushity, smushity, stampity, stampity. Ooh, this part's gonna be dark. Nice. Chateau. Who's getting needle texture? Some interesting flat texture, flat paintbrush. Not straight ahead. That'll make these little, little stabby things. They don't look, it's like this, stamp, stamp. I can even feel like a drum. Bum, 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 right? Oh, but that's not making them touch. Too spazzy. Ooh, this is very dark right here. I must have had a dark green blob right here. Don't even care. Row after row. Texture is most important. It's the shape, color, and texture of a tree. Oh, I feel like I'm making the zigzaggity going up. But look at how dumb my tree looks right now. Told you. Told you. It's the perspective of my looking from the side. It'll, from here, it looks straight. But once I stand in front of it, it's like, no. Now I have to go back and fix I'm gonna, I'm gonna, You guys won't be able to see my tree, but I have to stand in front and fixy fixy make a triangle out of her. Ooh, now I went on top of the background. Is that bad? No, it's not bad. I go outside, triangle. I made it triangle shape, but I act, I touched some of the sky. So the tree's in front. Ooh, I beat you. Mm-hmm. Look at me. I beat you and I beat you. Mm-hmm. I know, it's because I've done it before. Are you faster when you've done something before? Yeah. I don't have to think about it because my brain's like, yeah, did it, lady. Or, you know. But look at I did get some good great versions of color. I got dark areas and light areas and medium areas. 3D. And don't be too delicate because we're covering this with ornaments. So don't be all perfect, perfect, right? We're just, we just want the right texture and colors. Can we scribble, scribble? No, texture is important. Tap, 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 tap. Pick it up and drop it off somewhere else. Pick it up and drop it off. Pick it up and drop it off. And don't smooth the edges, right? Aren't we gonna make them ratty? Right, what happens? Do we want them, look at me, everybody pause. 
Don't smooth out the edges. What makes it look natural? The little tiny stick out pieces. Right? So don't worry about your edges being all like smooth. It's a tree. Their branches still stick out. In fact, the only thing that makes it look natural tree is the little stick outs. So if you're done, you're resting. You're resting a little bit. Who's got 3D? Do you have dark areas, medium areas, light areas, right? Yay! But when it dries, it'll even be more contrast because this green, I don't know if you can see it in your lid, she wants to dry almost black. She's very dark. So you're like, oh yeah, mine looks good. And then when it dries, it's even better. Oh, oh, you're showing off yours from last time? Fine. Good for you. <laughs> He's like, boom! <laughs> okay, now I want to show you. Everybody pause. Even though you're busy, everybody pause and look up. Okay, the little stickouts are important. Are they gigantic branches? Uh, oh, uh, no. So maybe just, just... The corner of it sticks out just like and I and where do I get my paint from I don't want a giant glob so I'm just gonna touch a wet part of my painting and I'm just gonna let it stick out oh I got I got one and should I get another one touch it oh I got another a little baby one and then I, I, I sneak sneak it out oh whoa. oh oh I don't need any paint where's the only moisture I'm allowed this skinny, why? This is not very much paint, so it'd be nice and dry and have needles. So then I go, oh, little, little, oh, watch out for the same length and evenly spaced apart, you humans. Look at mine. <laughs> they're evenly spaced apart. Oh. Let me try to ruin some of them so they're not perfect. Uh, 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 there. Little spazzy are not so perfect. Okay, first I'll practice and do some nice ones and then um, get some moisture and then and then I look at it every time. Look at their evenly spaced apart uglinesses. Oh! So I go back and I just try to rough it up a little. There, I don't need to be all like matchy matchy. Okay, a little bit rough, rough. Okay, now I can do the other side. Stick out. Of course, evenly spaced apart. Whatever. Whatever brain. Human brain. They look like stairs. I hate it. Look at it. Look at those stairs. It's so terrible. So now I'm going to put some in between them and get more paint and rough it up a little bit. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, don't be perfect. It's a little, little, okay. There, a little stick out. Okay. There, there. I have to ruin that perfect pattern. There. Ooh. Who likes it now? It looks better. It's not all smooth, right? It's not a smooth triangle. It has little stick outs. And it's a texture thing that makes you think it's a tree, not a green triangle. And then when you're done, we're going to put this paintbrush in our cup. Thank you. Bye. And we're going to need our, our paper plate, but we're going to open our, oh, and put the lids on your, on your greens. You can make some, you can make a cute uh, rock frog. Right? A frog with our two greens with a rock. Love doing that. And then you hide them in the garden. Now I'm going to open this little dear daddy. And 
And there's a teeny tiny paintbrush in there we don't need. But you will have one for doing delicate work. We don't need this shape for us. But it's a good paintbrush. Really good. You just got to keep it clean. Okay, now we're going to uh, get our yellow. We're going to make the star first. Remember how I said we have to lay down our painting flat to put the dots on? Do you know why these always, the pink ones always ran? Because I start putting dots on. Okay, everybody stop. Let's put the star on. And while I'm holding it up to do the star, they all start dripping. So let's do the star first. Let's learn from, we never get mad. We just do better. So we're doing the star first, right? And then get one of your paint brushes. It doesn't matter. Uh, get that, um, like the little the square one that we were just using and clean it off. We're not using it for this. We're going to use her stick. We just clean. Oh, oh, oh. Otherwise, look at it. It gross. There. Just so it's not dripping on you. That's all. And we need our stick. It spilled on the floor, but I have a tarp. Okay, now you guys ready? So we're gonna make a star for above our tree. And if you get, we're gonna be above the tree, so we're not really touching the tree. But I'm using, I'm not using this, that's filthy. I'm using my stick, okay? And then I'll show you, right? Which one's the best one? This one, okay? So look, I get a, I get my, just so there's no reflection. But I, I go like this and I scratch up. I scratch down. Because I'm trying to get those pointy ends. And then the paint will splash as it escapes and look like sparklers. It looks so good. I just go, but I land in the middle and I go flick, flick. Okay, we'll do it together. But it's with our stick. Okay, so I'm going to get the, and I get a scoop of yellow, right? Like there's a boogie on my paintbrush. It's like, what is, what? Uh, question? No, and I'm gonna drop it off above, uh, above my. are really hard to open. Oh. So there's two of them. So one of them is actually on top. The one on the left is the top one. If you try to pull the one on the right, you're, you're, nothing's happening. So the one on the left is the top one. Does that make sense? So I get the yellow and I'm just going to put it above my tree like she's floating. And I just wipe it off like it's a booger. Oh, get off my paintbrush. I just put a white dot. I mean a yellow dot. Yellow dot. I have it on a yellow paintbrush. That's confusing. But that's what color I picked out of the, out of the box. Okay, now I'm going to get more yellow. That's just telling me where the middle, the middle of my star is. So I just, I don't stab it because it would actually just coat the outside of the stick. That won't help me. So I just go, oh, just some. I get some on the end, on the end. And I'm going to scratch up. So I land in the middle and scratch up. I'm going to do it closer. So I go land up and scratch it. So, ooh, I got a sparkler. Oh, you're jealous of me. Scratch. We're not painting. We're scratching with our stick. Right? And then, how about if I touch the middle and scratch down? Oh, look how pointy it is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I get yellow again. And I'm going to go to the right like I'm making a plus. But I can't go across. I have to land in the middle and scratch out, out. Out. Ooh, sparklers. I got sparklers. And then I get more yellow poop. I put it in the middle and scratch out, out the to the right or to the left. Now I have a plus. That looks ridiculous. How about the corners? Everybody pause and look up. I got a plus. But I always have to scratch out. Now I'm going to do the corners. I touch in the middle and do corner, corner. Touch in the middle and go corner, corner, diagonally. Touch in the middle and do the corners. Touch in the middle and do the corners. So I have a plus with an X, but I can't go cross like the X 
No, I have to always land and scratch, land and scratch, land and scratch. Because I'm rooting for sparklers. And that is like yellow and see-through and terrible. What's a color I can use to brighten her up? White. A little bit of white. So watch, I'm going to get a scoop of white. Watch this. Put it right in the middle like a booger. Oh, wipe it off. Ugh. But I'm going to scratch that through. Let me tilt it so we get a better, mm, no, shadow. There. And I'm going to, I'm going to land and scratch up, land and scratch down, land and scratch to the right, to the left, to the corner, to the corner, to the corner, to the corner. There. Now I have three. And when it dries, she's mostly see-through, right? So the yellow will show through when she's dry. So I put white on top and did it twice. I can clean the stick off. And as soon as you're done, we're gonna pick up our painting. We're gonna pick up our painting like this and grab our easel, our cardboard easel, and put her on the ground or far away and then lay our painting down flat. And I have to create something for me Otherwise, I can't do it. There. And then, I'm going to give it a little, a little stand so I can get a little angle so you can see. So how did I make those pink ones drip? Picking it up and then they start sliding. So I'm going to leave it flat and let it dry flat. Put the lid on your white. Okay, and put the lid on the yellow because we're gonna do our glow in the dark pink first. Yay. So we're going to cover, we're, we're not going to put ornaments on top of our glow in the dark lights. You don't put ornaments on your lights, right? <laughs> so, and I always hold it and tilt it so I can make a little puddle to stab. Does that make sense? So I just, and if I keep it over here on the table, by the, I'm going like this and it falls off on my way to put it on my tree. You're like, hey, and it keeps landing in the sky. So if I hold it. I could go poke, dot, poke, dot. Does that make sense? It's just easier. And then they're nice and round, so we go straight ahead. And you can't go like this. Only one poke will make a nice round light. By the second dot, they're all shaped like beans. Remember I was showing you on the other one? They sh they're terrible. So I go, okay, there's a blob. Poke. Ta-da. But now I have to poke every time. Poke the paint, dot the tree. Poke. How much you want to bet you make them evenly spaced apart? You human. And you won't even be able to help it. Poke, dot. And this is when you're holding your arms over your painting. So here comes uh, sore arms. You're gonna, you're gonna be all annoyed. Poke, dot, poke. Got, ooh, and don't forget to let them dangle off the branches on the very side, right? All of our fluffy edges, they get jealous. You can put as many as you want. I don't care. It's your painting. I love my tree with lights. In fact, that's the, one of the reasons that I got the artificial tree is because I put so many lights on my tree that putting the tree away would actually make me mad. <laughs> work it's like you know what I'm, I'm gonna be able to do this and pick put the tree up and take the tree down oh see I dripped on my background and then smear it in so my background will go a little bit I think mine's at too much of an angle they still look drippy they better stay you dots. Oh, 
Mine doesn't get to be flat because so you can see it a little bit. Oh, I tripped again. Are you putting glow the dark paint on yours? Wee! I kind of put a drippy one on there. But do, are they going to be this white when they dry? No, remember when I showed you my painting? They actually look like a little invisible glues. And all you can actually see when it's dry is the powder showing through the clear gel. It's a trick. Okay, let's see how I did. I'm going to show you mine. Okay, I'm going to lift it up fast because you know they'll start to drip. But look, evenly spaced and their fingers spaced apart. Dumb! Told ya. I'm going to put some extra to ruin it so they're not perfect. And I put none on the edges. I said it out loud. I didn't do it. Some on the fluffy, fluffy edges. Yeah, that makes it a little more triangly too, on the very on the edges down the side, so you can see the triangle shape in the dark. Why do I keep dripping? Hmm. Ah. And uh, these are the most drippy of all the paints. So when we run in the bathroom and go look at them, we just carry it like this, right? Don't tilt it up like I was showing you because they'll drip. Or you'll bump into something, you'll be so mad. So, but we'll, we'll look at them in the bathroom when we're done. And then I want to put some glow in the dark paint. See, I have some left on my snow and around on the glow with my finger. Why? Because my paintbrushes are all filthy. That's why. So I just use my no paint finger, right? But the snow is still wet. I can't do it right now. Maybe I'll do it uh, later, later, right? Does, um, uh, does somebody have a question? You can unmute yourself and ask me. I see your hand, but I know Tia is not your name. No, he disappeared. Okay, so now we can put our, our ornaments. Just do the primary colors first. Do not pick green. And blue kind of blue kind of is too dark. She'll dry it black, right? But let me show you a trick. Everybody pause and look up. So I'm gonna stir a new color. I can make any baby color in my lid. In the lid. But when it's time to mix orange or turquoise, I do it on my plate. You know what paintbrush we use? I lied. That's what this paintbrush is for. It's for scooping and stirring, right? Oh, that's what this guy is for. And then, did you know that you can make uh, garbage colors that don't that are brown and look terrible? Right. Let me show you. Do you guys know the color wheel? I know you do. But purple. And yellow make brown. Red and green make brown. They're directly across from each other. They cancel each other out. Orange and blue make brown. But if I mix anything near each other, see here's green and blue make turquoise. Right? Pur purple and red makes magenta. Oh, oh, yellow and red makes orange. Right? I can do them near each other, but not across. Who's played with Play-Doh and all of a sudden it looked like a cat turd and you didn't want to play with it anymore? You're like, you know why? Because you mixed two colors that don't, that can't be a color. And you didn't know. Nobody showed you this, right? So we're going to do it together so we don't make any, ew, brown. And then when we stir our color, because we're trying to make little circles, we're always going to scoop it. Let me show you. Let's say I make a color, la, 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 right? I made a color. Well, I'm going to go like this and try to scoop it, push it into the middle, into a little pile. How come? I need a pile so that I can use my stick to make the dot, right? But let me show you in your lid. So 
I, I'm stuck in this little tiny space right now. But here's my lid of my blue. I can get some of my white. I can make any pastel color this way, right in my lid. And I get a, here's my dirty little paintbrush. I'm gonna scoop some, some white. I put it in my lid. Isn't there already color in my lid? Stir. Ooh, I got some nice baby blue. And I scrape off my paintbrush because I want to save all that. And then now I can use my stick. Oh, and look at it. It's swirly. It's going to make, you can't see. Is that good? You can't see. Let me show you. It's swirly. And it will make swirly colored. Oh, that looks so good. Look like marble. You can't see them, but I can. Oh, nice. They look like marble. I'm going to show you. Because I didn't stir it all the way, and they look like marble. Can you see how there's white and swirly? 3D. Right? So I can make some blue ones, and I can make some red ones, and red and white ones. Hulk, hulk. And I have so many colors I can make. I don't have to uh, put, you know, evenly spaced apart, all that with the blue. And then I clean my stick. Oh, yes. And on your phone, you can look up color wheel and it helps explain. But like, here's yellow and green make a really pretty baby green, right? Or red and yellow makes this orange color. Or purple and red makes magenta. You can always mix anything next to each other on the color wheel. But what happens if I jump across? They, they're called contrast colors. Christmas is red and green. But what happens if you mix them? Brown. Purple and yellow? Not pretty. <laughs> or blue and orange? That's, a, that's a, a football color, right? Football teams, high contrast. But if you mix them, brown. Terrible. So we, we can always make, there's the blue and the green. Blue, green, and white makes turquoise, right? So we're going to make new colors. And you can mix them in your lid or mix them on your paper plate. And if you add, and, and also these colors are kind of see-through, right? They're uh, clear. A little bit of white because the white I gave you is opaque, which means there's lots of pigment in it more pigment than gel. These have lots of gel because they're not expensive. So I could add white to my yellow and make a brighter yellow. I could add white to my red and make a pink, right? I could add blue, green, and white and make turquoise. I can mix red and yellow and make orange. But just have to clean your paintbrush in between so you don't accidentally make a ew color where it's like, what was that? I'm going to do a whole bunch of pure red ones because red is my favorite color and I love red. So I'm just going to go poke red and I don't stick my paintbrush in all the way. I just need it on the tip. Poke red. Ooh, I love red. It's my fave color. But as a, as a grown up, you know, red's my favorite color. So you know I want to decorate with red. You can't. It's so, like, I tried painting, oh, I'll just have a red wall. It's like I was living in a, in a, a haunted story with a r bloody red wall. I was like, okay, let's paint over that. That was a mistake. So, Pixie, we have a couple of readers that have to leave already. Oh, okay. Because these are going to record and upload on YouTube. Uh-huh. And, and um, we're, all we do for the whole rest of time is make new colors and make dots. And then when the painting is all dry, we use, we use our clean finger and try to smear around the tree with our glow-in-the-dark paint and make her look like she's glowing. And if you put the glow-in-the-dark paint on in the dark in the bathroom, you can see where to put it. It's so fun to paint in the dark with glow-in-the-dark paint. So fun. Must be dinner time. Poke. 
Let's see if I did them evenly spaced apart. Yes. And I actually put them in rows. <laughs> Look. This is how human I am. I can't help it. Look at my red ones. They're little. How did I do that? They're literally in rows. And they're exactly two fingers apart. I don't know. Human. Human brain. Arr! I'm going to try to put some in between. Try to break it up a little. And I swear, I laugh at myself. That's why I always bring it up. Because I'm like, how does my brain do that to me? I think it's because when we were little and we were learning to write our alphabet and our numbers, they had to be evenly spaced apart. So we just learned it. I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to put some pure yellow ones on it. Before I start mixing my colors, I'm going to do my primary colors first. Some bright, bright yellow ones. Oh, I almost put it on the blue one. So party. I think I'm putting too many ornaments. I wanted to put other colors, but I'm totally filling this tree up, aren't I? Oh, well. It'll look like one of those trees at the department store where it's covered in stuff, right? Well, that's how I am then. I'm, I'm fancy like that. Oh, I forgot about the edges. The edges always get jealous because I only do the belly of the tree. Poor edges. Okay, here's my first time mixing a color. We'll see how I do. I think I'm going to make orange because I know how to make that one good. So I'm going to use that Scoopy paintbrush. <gasps> She's full of blue. Gotta wash it out. Because what does blue and the red make for purple, but blue and yellow make green. I already have green. Okay. There. So I'm gonna get a huge, I'm gonna use my plate. A huge scoop of red. I don't care, I got lots of paint. All this is for red puddle. Uh oh. I better wipe my paintbrush off before I go get yellow. I'll contaminate all my yellow. What? Okay, there. Now I can get some yellow. Scoop it. Stir. Oh yeah, and a little bit of white, right? I'll get it from, I have a contaminated paintbrush. I'll scoop it from the side because she's not see-through this color. <gasps> it looks like fire. I had my wet Christmas tree on the back and I put it on my painting right there. I have a wet Christmas tree stamp on my painting. I guess I'm gonna throw it in the garbage. No, not really. Okay, I might, oh, look, it looks like fire. I like it. Oh, wait, if I don't stir it, I could have fire dots. I'm actually gonna leave it all swirly like that. Let me see. What? That looks so good. Oh, oh, I'm not mixing it all the way because I they look like they look like marble. Oh, oh, I recommend never mixing your colors all the way now. What? I love it. So pretty. Just giving them permission to be a variation of color like that is awesome like it. I can't wait to see what I make next. Looks like fire. I paint my tree like it's on fire. Call the fire department. And now I clean my stick and wash out my scooping paintbrush, right? Clean it. Pinch, pinch. Now let's see. Now I'm excited. That was fun. But now I know I can't put my uh, paper plate on my painting. Okay, blue, green, and white. I'm excited. 
I'm gonna make turquoise and you're not, so there. Oops, open green. There. I'm gonna get my plate. I still love the orange I made. Look at it. Okay, so I'm gonna get a scoop of blue. Scoop. Make a blob. Nice, big, disgusting blob. And a scoop of green. Scoop. And then I need some white, but I, I don't, I don't want to touch my white with a filthy paintbrush. Pinch. Scoop. Ooh. Okay. Want to see? Want to watch it with me? I don't know. I don't know. I can't. So there's green and blue and white. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I want more white. Blue's too dominant and dark. I need more white. I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to put a glob of white on there. For, oh, oh. It made a seafoam color. Pretty. I like this spot. Okay, now I get to make dots out of it. Can't use this paintbrush to make my dots because she'll make little squares. But I can use my stick. Scoop. Ooh, look at the end of it. It looks like marble. Oh, let's see. Now I wish I did these instead of blue. Maybe I could put these on top of my blue. These are way more creative. Because you know what I'm making next? Magenta. I'm going to put some red and blue together. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Clean my stick. Clean the little scoopy paintbrush because I don't want green. What does green and red do? Poop. So I definitely cannot make magenta with any green on there. Ugh. Pinch. Okay. Now let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. I need red. <gasps> Stay. What are you doing? Stay. It's just my table that I made. You better stay. Okay. Now I'm going to get a scoop of blue and a scoop of red. Oops, red's closed. And white. Let's see what I make. Should be purpley, right? Red and blue make purple. Oops! I put my dirty paintbrush in my red. Oh! I'm following all the steps. Smush and then put some white in there. More white. Okay, so look what I did. I smashed it. It's purple, right? But I laid it all flat. How am I going to make little dots this way? So I'm gonna have to push it all together into the, I have to scratch it into the middle so I can make a puddle that I could be able to poke with my paintbrush. Scratch, scratch. There, now I can, now I have a poking, a middle I can poke. Oh, look, it's not all the way mixed in. Look, oh, look, it's all swirly. That's gonna look good. Do you guys like making color? I do. It's going to be my purpley one. Whoa! I think I want to make red and white pink ones. But I got, I got blue in my, in my red. Oh, F. That's a F for me. Fail, fail, especially when I knew better and I didn't stop myself. <sighs> Are we supposed to get mad or just do better? We adjust and do better. I think I'm going to have to use my paintbrush and try to scratch out the blue out of my red. How am I going to make pink with blue in there? Look at it. Oh my God. Okay, there. Now I can get a scoop of red, a 
scoop of white. Who's come up with a color I haven't thought of? Anyone have any colors to share? Or if you have your own set of paints, then oh, jealous. I have pink. I'm going to scratch that little puddle. There, now I have a puddle. See, I make a little bump. Can you see it? Make a little bump so I can poke it. Oh, they do look different than the red ones. Pretty. And if your background is all dry, now you can get your glow in the dark paint. And my finger isn't completely clean, but I'm going to get, look at how much I have left. You know you should play with this. If you, but you can't put it on your face. It burns. And I already know that. Little boys were doing it in my class. I know. So I get the, the glow in the dark paint. I think I want that to glow under my, oh, but don't touch your tree. She's wet. But I think my snow is dry. Whoa, under the tree. And then I can make little scribbles around my tree like this. And around my star. Not on my star, she's still wet because we put it on so thick. Look how it looks white. Is it gonna stay white? No, it dries clear like outward glue. And then go look at it in the bathroom and come back and tell us how it looks. Or you can turn off the light in your room. It's dark outside. Unless you're in the living room. That's just rude. Everyone's all, I can't see. What are you doing? Okay, now I get to decorate the other side. Are my drips moving? I mean, my dots moving, no? Okay, good. It's the glow of the dark ones. Yeah, they're moving. They're the ones that are most liquidy, I worry. Now I'm gonna put it on this side. Now you can't see me. Okay, I'm gonna my camera. Hello. Now I'm gonna put it on this side. I don't wanna lift up my painting. And I still have some glow in the dark paint left, so I can paint my cell phone cover. I can paint my light switch. I can paint rocks and put them outside. But they it glows for 12 hours, right? This glow that this this industrial kind of powder that I bought, and um, but it, it only from from the extreme right pointed at the light. And then to dark is the most bright, right? So if the sun is slowly going down or slowly coming up, it, it's not going to be as bright, right? So if you put them in the light and then put them in the garden, they would glow. They soak up energy like a, um, like a solar panel. I still have extra. I'm going to think of something to play with it with. I don't know. I'm going to be creative. Because if, at my studio, when I go to leave at night and I turn off the light, there'd be speckles of glow-in-the-dark paint on the chairs, on the table, on the floor. And this apron ha ha glows in the dark, too, because I wipe my finger on it all the time. So my this glows in the dark. What if you put it on, on a hair tie or a hair clip? Then your hair clips would glow in the dark. Wicked cute. And see how my, oh, I want to close it so it will dry. You stay, okay, there. But look at, it looks like white. I put more white uh, slimy stuff around the outside, but it's going to dry clear. So. What kind of colors did you guys make? Make it a good color? Good job.